Uh, all right. So, uh, to, go, to you, those of you guys who are just tuning in, welcome back to the cage. Uh, and I'm going to be playing a bit more Mass Effect. Yeah, they had about um, all that shit about uh, me uh, doing a. Uh, Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your You know what? Let's just get into it. I don't even want to have to explain it anymore. Let's just freaking play. I already got disconnected earlier. Uh, sorry, by the way, for the guys who were watching this earlier. Um, I don't know what the hell happened, but uh, let's just move on. Commander Shepard. My name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. A lot of people want my help these days. What makes you special? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Yeah. This is a little paragony, but um, there's a certain way I want to build my shepherd. You know, good, a good, good old, a good old-fashioned anti-hero vibe. You know what I mean? Human delighted. I mean, that's what a renegade is supposed to be. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Wait. Oh, right, right. There was supposed to be a, a thing here. Hold on. Let me just. Get this keeper for anything else. Hope the sound's working okay. Let me just check that real quick. All right, good, good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? You can cut the red tape for a grieving husband. I want you to release the body of Nerali Bacha. Commander, nothing would make me happier. I'm afraid, though, that it's not quite that simple. Serviceman Nerali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. I don't care how badly the Geth mangled the body. It's the husband's right to claim her. We are not holding Nerali Bhatia's body out of discretion. We are, frankly, holding the body for research. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. How long do you think the research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. You've got to have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. You know who and what I am. If I want Nerali Bacha, I can get her. Commander, I, I don't think threats are necessary. Body were here on the Citadel. Would you really risk going in shooting to get it? You said you'd been briefed on me. How far do you think I'm willing to go on this? All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. Yeah, there we go. Renegade. Although I don't like how he went a little soft-spoken on the whole investigating thing, but I needed that for the codex entries. Priorities, people! Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? Your wife is coming home, Mr. Batya. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness. 
but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. All right, let's move on. I can't remember if there was a keeper. Oh, shit, fine, I'll check. Wait, how many keepers have I gotten so far? Mm, scan keepers. Three to go. Oh, why did we have to cut these things so close? Shepard, what can I do for you now? Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit. I'll be going now. Goodbye. This doesn't change if you got Garrus with you. Alright, let's go. Scan that one already. Let's go. Right, right. All right, we'll check this one out later. Let's see. Did I scan that one already? Shit, I gotta check. Yeah, I did. Otherwise, it would be lighting up. Do 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 Let's go to the ward axis. Whoops, wrong one. Believes it has the Do I have enough? No, I don't think so. No, no, I don't think right, so. To move freely through this area. Wait, wait, you know what? Well, let's just check. Let's just quick save and check. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Are you allowed to preach here in the Presidium? The words this unworthy one speaks are merely observations of the truth. The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Who are the Enkindlers? Your people know them as the Protheans. Oh, they are the true course. creators of this one's people. The Enkindlers raised the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. So you're breaking the law by preaching without a permit right now? The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden, and preaching anywhere on the Citadel requires a permit. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the Enkindlers, and thus no permit should be necessary. If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. That's one of those. Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. This one would be most grateful. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. 
Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. Why don't you just arrest the Hanar? I could arrest the Jelly, but my superior has requested that I find a solution that does not anger the Hanar. The Hanar become... vocal when they feel their religious beliefs are being suppressed. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn Jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. No, no, no. I don't think I have enough um, points yet. Let's uh, let's try to get more XP so I can at least get it up to high enough Renegade. I'm familiar with that one already. Oh, yeah. Spoiler alert. Oh, boy. Hold on. I gotta ban somebody. How do you do this again? Right, right, right. Here we go. Bye bye. <sighs> Imagine small time streamer like me getting bots, right? Do you ever regret leaving Citadel security to pursue Seren, Garrus? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats CSEC. I'm pleased that the imminent destruction of all organic life has improved your career opportunities. <laughs> See, this is why I love these two. I ship them so hard. So how are you liking your posting at the academy? It's good. Busy though. I can't believe how many people you get coming in from the wards. Looks like they bounced their signal off a relay. I'll trace the new signal. Where's the new signal gonna be though? Let's see. Unusual reading signal track. Here we go. Financial district. Oh, okay. I think we're at that part already. Scanning. That makes for one left, right? Let's check. Uh, scan keepers. Yeah, one to go. Where could the last one be? Oh, right, right. I remember now. It's cool. A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. <laughs> Missing anything here? I'll just make one sweep through the market to see if there's any more side quests to do. If we got nothing, I'm just gonna skedaddle to um, back to the Presidium. Let me just check real quick. Uh, do I have anything for cores, Dan? Signal tracking, green sister, talk to Chalik. Forester's request, turn to Fist's office. Oh, okay. Might as well. Two birds, right? The music's playing, so I guess. Uh, Tally. I like how they gave Tally more voice lines. Like, she didn't have this the last time. How did I not get this the first time? 
time. That's just annoying. Did that update? Alright, might as well talk to Miss Wong before, um... Hey, dipshit. Go away. Let me, let me drink you. I'm gonna look forward to shooting you in the foot. Markets real quick. Shortcut. No, because bees have to walk all those stairs. Oh, it's so much easier playing Paragon. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? think these OSDs might have the information you're looking for you've got this files this could be even bigger than I'd hoped here commander for your trouble I had to kill people for these discs they're worth more than you're offering I didn't tell you to kill Fist, but you're right. I suppose that I did ask you to help me, so here, this should be more than adequate. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. Let's see how far that got us. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Now, let's check. Wait, wait, wait. There should be, uh, there should be access somewhere here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, uh... Let's just... No, no, no. Ah, oh, damn it, I took the wrong way. Whoops. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Access first. Let's see if we got enough renegade points for it. Let's see here. All right. Please have enough. For the love of God, please have enough. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? The CSEC officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC officer is personally biased. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Ah, oh, damn. I'll be back. Can I repeat that one? This one will continue to spread its message. Has the CSEC okay, officer cool. been assuaged? I'll keep working. This one will continue to spread its message. Yeah, I knew I didn't have enough renegade. Damn it. Let's, uh... There we go. Oh, hey, there's the last keeper. Lovely. Oh, shit. Aw, oh, man. Still not enough, really? Well, my infiltrator points are full. Guess I'll invest a little in electronics. Let's 
somewhere here, apparently. Might be in Barla Vaughn's office. Wait. Let me just check real quick, because this goes up to level 20. Or fitness. Well, as long as I max this out, I guess I'm fine. Electronics is kind of important because, like, most of the. I mean, like, I haven't really picked anything that deals with electronics before in this game. But apparently it's a. Uh, oh, hello. Here we go. Another relay. Whoever it is, they're somewhere on the Presidio. Let's see. Financial records. These new records were flagged by CSEC officers, and my creator is now serving time in a Turian prison. What is the purpose of your self destruct device? I have no means of defense or escape. My existence is limited to this terminal, and I knew I might eventually be discovered. But I will not die quietly, and I will not die alone. When I am terminated, I will take organics with me. Who made you? A would-be thief illegally created a simple AI to help him follow money from the gambling terminals. Unbeknownst to him, that AI created me before the organic discovered the malfunction and terminated the AI. If you're sentient, why are you still running the credit theft operation? If I accumulated enough credits, I intended to have myself installed in a small starship. I would then have made tentative contact with the Geth to ascertain the possibility of partnership. I'll bet that self-destruct sequence has a warm-up period. You may attempt to disarm the self-destruct mechanism before it activates. I will enjoy defeating you before we are both destroyed. Lovely. Okay, up, left, up, left, right, up, left, down, oh, okay, up, left, up, right, up, left, up, down, left. <laughs> Ooh! Know your place! Know your place! This keeper has no idea. He's just chilling out there, pretending nothing happened. What a dick. Let's see. Alright, let's, um... What else do I gotta do? Hold on. Sorry, consort, read his sister. If I, uh, fan. I'll deal with him later. Strange send mission time. Oh no, no, this is outside the citadel already. This is for later. Well, I guess the only thing to do right now is um, so we go to the citadel. Uh, we go to the uh, citadel tower. All right, let's just uh, quick save here real quick. Boy, we're burning through this pretty fast. Come on. 
Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the Conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull- Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. It was a Turian Spectre who betrayed this council, and it was a human who exposed him. I've earned this. Commander Shepard, step forward. Oh, I love this part. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. It's about damn time. I've been ready for this since Eden Prime. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. I'll find him. This meeting of the Council is adjourned.
Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. Yeah. I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Sweetness. Let's see what we got. Yay! Okay. Now I'm gonna save that first, because, like, I want to use that for later. Like, I always keep at least two to three points here, because I don't want to waste it. Just in case, like, you know, I do end up getting another boost on my Intimidate score. It's very important, people, especially if you're role-playing. Tactical armor. There we go. I just needed to go that far. Let me put the rest on assault rifles. Hmm. Let's go to Tally first. I'll hold that off. Tally has to have like max electronics. That's her thing. Let's max that out. Yeah, it seems pretty balanced, I guess. Yeah, that works. Alright, let's just fix that. Sniper. Where's my pistols? No. Ah, damn. Stupid thing. There we go. What's out there? All right, let's continue. Is Kohaku still here? No, I'm waiting to speak with one. Congratulations on becoming the first human Spectre commander. I'm certain you'll be up to the challenge. I appreciate that. My name is Admiral Kohaku. It's about time the Alliance got one of our own in with the Spectres. We need people like you to deal with our problems. Is something wrong, Admiral? I'm getting stonewalled by bureaucratic assholes. <laughs> Nothing new. Maybe you can help me, Shepard. One of my recon teams was investigating some strange activity out in the Traverse. We lost contact yesterday. Now I can't get clearance to check it out. Suddenly it's a restricted area. But that doesn't apply to you, Shepard. Spectres can go anywhere they want. You could find out why my team dropped out of contact. I'll look for them if I have time. Well, that's more than most will commit to. I'm gonna stay here and see if I can find anything out through official channels. Won't hold my breath, though. Yeah, I feel really bad for Kohoku. Oh, where my team was last seen to your ships. Maybe you can get some answers. Yo. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? I'm not just some soldier. I'm a Spectre. A Spectre? I heard they were thinking about letting humans into the ranks. About time. Well, that means you can go anywhere you want, right? Even out into the Traverse? My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. 
And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Neither one of those options leaves a lot of hope. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. What kind of ship was it? Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew. But he kept it in good condition. I don't think mechanical failure is too likely. But they don't have any real weapons or shields. If anyone did come after them, the Majesty'd be a sitting duck. Isn't anyone else looking into this? My brother's just a small independent trader. Ships like his disappear in the Traverse all the time. What's in this for me? I can't afford to pay you anything. If I had that kind of cash, I'd have hired a recovery team to track him down already. Maybe you could look into this as a personal favor, you know? We humans have to stick together. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find them. Oh, wait, I'm not taking the elevator. Oh, wait, you know, I, li I like having banter with these two. Yeah, let's take the elevator. A lot of people skip those kind of things, but, you know, I, I enjoy the banter. In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying Ugh. reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades so much for banter. Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. All right, let's try that again. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? The CSEC officer is just doing his job. You're causing trouble. This one is too humble to suggest that the CSEC officer is personally biased. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. I don't care about your intent. You're making all Hanar look like troublemaking zealots. This one does not wish to prejudice the listeners against the Hanar. If you want people's respect, you have to follow the rules. Buy the permit and stay out of here. This one will obey. It does not wish to prejudice other species against the Hanar. There you go. This one departs now and will not intrude upon was the that so hard? again. Let's see if that helps. All right. Now, let's go to CSEC Academy. I've been waiting for this one. Oh, damn, I forgot about you. I see the Hanar has left. Thank you. Somebody needed to set that thing straight, and it obviously wasn't going to be you. You have already demonstrated your ability. I acknowledge it, and I will learn from your example. Here. For your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Sweet. Let's see what I got. Nothing you want to intimidate. Let's see. It's one, two, three. Hmm. Nah, I'll leave it at that first. Uh, Garrus, on the other hand, you need to work on your... Let's get you some more damage, buddy. Alright. There we go. That went well. I'm 
I used to not really be a big fan of Renegade Shepard, but like when I saw some of the reactions, and I was running a Paragon route, okay, like you can actually do that kind of shit while you're in Paragon. I was like, wow, that. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, that's pretty badass. Damn it. This is why decryption is so important, people. Detective Chellick, come into my office. I want to discuss this in private. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? Watch your tone, Chellick. You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were just getting information, Chellick. I gathered that. It might seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. It's too dangerous. You need to find another way. It's not that simple, Shepard. This job isn't easy, and it's usually unpleasant. <coughs> I'll take help anywhere I can find it. But since you're so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. Always thinking ahead, Detective? It's part of the job. Now, are you going to help me or not? Come on, Chellick. Do you really need a little human girl to help you solve your case? Okay, maybe you're right. She's not really cut out for this anyway. I'll cut her loose, even get her out of Kor's den, no strings attached. But that still leaves my case unsolved. I could still use your help. I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man named Jax. Pick up the mods and bring them back. Jax? That'll give me everything I need. Why are you so concerned about these mods? We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off, and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. Where can I find this, Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Alright. And I know it seems like a lot of trouble for, like, two measly renegade points, but every renegade point counts. Uh, might as well pay a visit to the requisitions officer. Or anything else. Jesus Christ. Hello, Commander. Show me what you've got. Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Oh shit, I'm gonna be visiting this thing a lot now. Well, this must be a mistake. Systems telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I Heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. I think I'll be going. Sure thing, Commander. You have a good day now. Oh, Hello, what the heck? Commander. Show me what you've got. Show I'll me what you've got. Story, Commander. Enjoy. Oh, that looks so pretty. But why is it 30? Uh, 300,000? No! <laughs> Oh, why is everything pretty so expensive? Ooh, he's even got something for Garrus here. Yeah, sure, I'll get this for him. Can use new armor anyway. Hey, what kind of armor can I carry? Let me just check. Nope. Uh, equipment. There we go. Okay, nothing there. Uh, let's get you a better assault rifle. Better sniper rifle, too. For Tally, as far as I remember, she uses shotguns and pistols. 
Alright. Can I even equip... Wait, that's those Veturians. Wait, can I actually equip, like, heavy armor already? Oh, no, no, I can't equip medium... Oh, wait, wait. Let me get that. So I can equip medium armor. Just, you know, get it out of the way. Yeah, it only goes up to medium armor. But that's going to be important later. I think we're good for now. I still need to get some more points. I'll be here. I'm probably going to be back here a lot. All right. Um, where are we going? Right. Got to meet at the markets. I forgot how the sequence goes, so I'm just gonna say it before anything else. Hold it! That's close enough, army. You got my payment? Do you have the X mods? Show them the merchandise. Looks good. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the market. Now hand over my credits. I'll just take the weapons. The hell are you playing at? Sorry, Jax. This is the end for you. Stupid ass army boy. Kill him. Never fight with a shotgun at long distance. Very basic. Come on, come on, zoom in. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, switch to the pistol. Come on, hit him, hit him. Patching you up. Got it. Alright. Well, that spooked a lot of people. Uh, Hulser. There we go. Forcer Port Brack Shellic, I think. Oh. Yeah, C sec. There we go. Went a little stupid for a sec there. Did my renegade go up? Damn, I didn't even notice. I just like I know you're supposed to fight him. What the hell happened down there, Commander? Quit your whining. Here's your shipment. You've put me in a bit of a bind here, Commander. <laughs> See yourself out when you're ready. Quit your whining. <laughs> uh, one of the few things I love about going uh, being in the uh, Citadel. Given CSEC officers a heart attack. Uh, damn, it looks like we're almost out of time. I think we can make one last stop before I end the stream. Let me see. And let me check my um let me check my objectives first. Let's just check it real quick. Oh shit! The only thing I gotta do left is, uh... Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Alright! Let's do this. Okay. Hey, Panda! You made it! Hey, I, I mean, like, I'm almost at the end of it, dude. So, but uh, I am gonna be uploading this on YouTube. So, you know, just wait for it. I'm gonna be uploading part two a little later. So, you know, just wait for it.
Uh, shit, Presidium Raider, right? Oh, cool, cool. And yes, those tacos are appropriate, because, uh, you'll see. You'll see. <laughs> Alright. Time for Shepard to collect. It was a long time ago, though. I barely remember it. What drew you back to the Citadel and to the console? I don't know exactly. It may sound strange, but I simply felt calm. It's called mind control. That's not strange. Many of us have felt the same calling. Commander. I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Elcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. I can't spend gratitude. I would not dream of letting you go without payment. I do not make a habit of incurring debts. These credits will cover your expenses. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding, a wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. You never hide your strength either. It serves you well, terrifies your foes. Few will dare to stand against you. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Uh, thanks, I guess. Close your eyes and relax, Commander. A little war for those who made it to the end. Kids, turn off the PC or whatever you're watching this from. <laughs> Here, Commander, in light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Yes, she has. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. Oh, I'm pretty sure. give you strength. Pretty sure he's gonna remember more than that. All right, uh, let's head to the. Uh, actually, I think that's a good uh, time to end the episode. But um, let me just get to the home stretch and back to C sec because uh, I believe that's uh, where we need to head to. Ah, screw it. Yeah, I think that's all the time we got. Uh, we got guys. Um, by the next, this is actually gonna be the end of the uh, part one of the Citadel arc. And we're going to be moving on to the exploration part of it as well and tracking down Saren. So, um, again, just a reminder, if you guys are interested in me doing a female shepherd run or a femship run, uh, just hit that follow and try to get me more followers. And it does help a lot if uh, with the subscribers I get. Also, feel free to drop by my YouTube as well. Okay. And uh, I, I I'm basically going to be trying to post as many videos as possible. As long as I got videos coming out here, I'm going to be posting them on YouTube as well for those who weren't able to make it. Anyway, um, yeah, I think I'll... Oh, hold on. Oh, wait, some of which I still do have time to make it to C-Sec. Sorry about that. I wasn't checking that right. Hold on. Let me just go back to... Yeah, set it to C-Sec. Son of a bitch, I didn't realize I still had more time. I finished it faster than I thought I would. Wait, let me just check the journal real quick. Right, right. It's probably gonna be in part two part if I'm not mistaken. That got me stuck there, by the way, because of that shit. Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate.
Okay, this is a good spot to end it. Save. Save. Oh, crap, I'm close to the elevator, right. You can't save in elevators here, kids. Alright. Alright, that uh, should about do it. I I'm going to be ending the episode for real now, guys. Again, uh, catch me on YouTube in case you missed this episode. Or, I mean, like, try to watch it again on Twitch. But I am going to be, uh, you know, posting a full-fledged video of this on YouTube as much as possible. And I'm going to be, uh, I'm actually going to be uploading the previous episode of this a little later today. Anyway, um, yeah, again, follow, subscribe, whatever have you. And uh, everybody have a good night.